Hello and welcome to this Key Stage 5 video on simplifying algebraic fractions. Now to be honest this video is going to mostly be a summary of uh, what you did uh, when you were younger, maybe at GCSE level or whatever equivalent of qualification you did. Now you're already familiar with the idea of simplifying fractions. If I had say 4 over 6 then we know we can divide top and bottom of that fraction by 2 to get uh, 2 over 3. Now that might seem obvious, but it's important to realise that you can only simplify fractions by dividing. You cannot simplify fractions by subtracting. So for example, if I had x squared minus 16 over x squared minus 4x, then you can absolutely not just cross out those x squareds there. Because when you do so, you haven't divided the top by x squared, you've actually subtracted x squared. To get from x squared minus 16 to just minus 16, you've actually subtracted x squared. So we cannot do that. What we have to do is that we just have to factorise the numerator and the denominator, and then we can cancel those factors, because we can divide top and bottom of that fraction by that common factor that we found. Just like here, we had a common factor of 2, which we could divide by. So let's do that for these examples here. x squared minus 16 over x squared minus 4x. Let's factorise the top and bottom, the numerator and denominator. Well, that's the difference of two squares, so it's two brackets. Remember the difference of two squares, one has a plus in the middle, one minus. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 16 is 4. And the bottom, we just have a common factor of x. Always look for a common factor first. So x times what is x squared? x. And x times minus 4 is minus 4x. At this point, we are allowed to cross out these x minus 4s because we are actually dividing by x minus 4 when we cross them out. And that just leaves x plus 4. We don't need that bracket anymore. And then the x at the bottom. And again, we can't just cross out those x's because that would be subtracting x if you cross that x out. So that is the final answer. What about 2? We want to simplify 3x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared minus 1. Now again, the bottom, which is the easier one to factorise, that's the difference of 2 squares. x plus 1 times x minus 1. And the top's a bit harder, and you can use whatever your favourite method is of factorising these quadratics where you have uh, a coefficient of x squared that's not 1. But by the way, the, the bottom provides a clue to what the top factorises to, because generally there is a factor that cancels. So we're probably going to have a bracket of x minus 1 or x plus 1 at the top. Now you could split the middle term here, but I'm just going to guess the two brackets. Uh, we've got 3x and x to give the 3x squared, and these two numbers have to multiply to give minus 2. And I can see that it's going to be minus 1 and plus 2 will work because you've got 2x minus 3x is indeed minus x. So we can see that the x minus 1s are common to top and bottom, so we can divide by them to leave just 3x plus 2, no brackets required, over x plus 1. And that is that one. Now this last one is just slightly harder. You'll see the subtlety regarding this in a second. Now if I factorise the denominator... I'm going to get x minus 1, x minus 2. Now, neither of these brackets exactly matches the numerator here. But can you see that this here is a negation of this? If I was to negate this, i.e. times it by minus 1, I would have minus 1 plus x, or x minus 1, which is the same as that bottom thing here. So what I could do is I could write that top as minus brackets x minus 1, because we can see when we negate this bracket here, we get minus x plus 1, which is that, isn't it? And then now you can divide by the x minus 1, and that's just going to leave, well, there's a kind of implicit 1 there. It just leaves minus 1 over x minus 2. Now, if you wanted to write this more cleanly and have a positive number in the numerator, we could times top and bottom by minus 1, and that gives you 1 over, and if you times that by minus 1, it just swaps the order, so you get 2 minus x, and that's a slightly cleaner solution.